what was normal when you were a kid, but you never see anymore. Showing up to someone's house without a text or call. Cassette tape pinards strung out along the highway, glimmering in the sunlight. Using a set of 20 years old encyclopedias as reference for my homework. JFK is president. Parents smoking in a car with kids with the windows rolled up. Moms yelling from the front door to their kids to come home for dinner. Memorizing phone numbers. Toys in the cereal box. Candy cigarettes. Pay phones and answering machines. Quicksand in movies and TV shows. Smoking and non-smoking sections in restaurants. Everybody smoked everywhere. At restaurants, the office, airports, everywhere. There's a picture of my grandma holding me as a baby in one hand and a cigarette in the other. Nobody thought that was the least bit strange. Computer paper filled with lightly printed numbers and it had tear off sides. My dad used to bring lots of it home for us kids to draw on. Printing out directions from MapQuest, smiley face. Fireflies. I swear I saw them every year, in our backyard or when we went camping etc. And now I never see them no matter where I am. Except for a few nights in the summer of 21 after I moved to a new house. It was so nice to see them again. McDonald's Play Places. Phone books. Thousands of monarch butterflies and bees during the summer. Now my wife and I get excited when we see one monarch BF in the backyard where we planted a B and BF friendly garden. Just walking right into an airport terminal. The pet fish section at every single Walmart or Meyer. It was always in the back of the store on this huge distinctive wall with multiple sides filled with tanks of multicolored fish. My parents wouldn't let me get one though. Cigarette vending machines. Randomly knocking on friends' doors to see if they are home and want to play. Please be kind, rewind stickers on all the videotape cases. Huge flocks of birds darkening the sky every fall as they fly south for the winter. I never see that anymore. People talking about the Bermuda Triangle. Buying stuff with green stamps, and trying to collect the whole pattern set of dishes with them. People renting DVDs. Video games only working on Channel 3. Frogs, large flocks of birds, my dad. Riding bikes from sun up to sundown. The toy department in the basement of the hardware store in my hometown. It was the age of Star Wars and Hot Wheels and Barbies and all sorts of other toys in a 20 apostrophe x 20 room. I still wonder if there's anything down there these days just collecting dust. Roller skating rinks full. Neighborhood kids getting together to play till the street lights came on. Got milk ads. Asking people for directions to their house step by step. A phone booth. Popping in a game and have it just start right away. I'm old and I picked up a PS5 about a month ago. Had to set up an account go through internet settings. Pop in the game I bought to find out it needed an update which took about an hour. I'm glad we have the tech we do. But video game consoles of the past few gen make me miss 90s and early 2000 consoles. Actual demos you could play on consoles in stores like Target. Calling almost anything you didn't like gay. Little Kool-Aid barrels with metal tops and you can punch through with a fingernail. Not much of a drink in them but they were delish. The constant AOL free trial CDs you would get in the mail. Kids playing, riding bikes, all over the neighborhood and not a single adult worried about them. We would stay out until dark. Mom and dad never thought anything of it. Music videos and radio stations. When I wanted to call a new friend from school, I looked up their parents in the phone book assuming I knew their names. Drinking from the garden hose. The Apple computers with the clear, colorful backs. Roly poly bugs and actual seashells at the beach. Renting physical copies of movies at the video store, and being irritated when the one movie you wanted to watch was already rented. Or worse, when everything switched from VHS to DVD, every rental was a gamble that the movie was actually playable. Saturday morning cartoons, after school cartoons. Bugs and the Gang, Underdog, Tom, and Jerry, Popeye, all the classics. Penny Candy, Soda Fountains. She repair shops. Sears catalogs. Montgomery Ward's catalogs. J.C. Penney catalogs. Woolsworth stores. Main Street shops. Stationery stores that sold bought your school books, along with all the extras needed for school. Cats drug stores. Kites. Snow for Christmas. 
white dog poop. Monarch butterflies, barely see them during spiring anymore. Makes me sad. Two things. Lobster tanks at grocery stores. The jet stream during local news weather. Getting all you can eat crab legs at the $8 Chinese buffet. Toys and cereal. USA up all night in the late 80s early 90s. B side horror movies. Hosted by Elvira and Godfrey. Would have sleepovers with friends and stay up all night. An empty refrigerator. Playing away from home for hours with no updates sent to the parents. Now, pretty much don't see it at all. It's either the parents smother the kids so don't let it happen, or insist on regularly communication. Land parties and dial up internet. Blimps. Parents taking their kids to the bar. Or was that just my mom? Drinking water from a faucet. People passing around photographs at gatherings. Pox parties. One kid gets chicken pox and his parents throw a party for the kids in the neighborhood, so all the kids can get it. Wild times. 24 hour businesses. When I was a kid, you could go to the movies, go to a sit down restaurant, play mini golf, get groceries at almost any supermarket, and even get dental work done at 3 a.m. COVID put the final nail in that coffin, though they were already on their way out. And now, as an overnight shift worker, I can't even get a slice of pizza on my night off, everything closes by 8 or 9. Seriously, the closest restaurant that's open all night is 6 hours and 3 states away. Even the truck stop is 7A9P now. Ashtrays everywhere. TV guide, and knowing what daytime your favorite show was on so you wouldn't make any other plans. Cheap plastic mazes containing a bead of mercury. Generally. Kids being given access to dangerous stuff like chemistry sets, matches, scissors, knives, stoves. Now the directions always say, ask an adult to turn on the stove. Cleaning blackboard erasers in school. Kids playing in the street. Those candy wax tubes w weird liquid in them, anybody? Going to the library to research a topic. Wearing an apron. Nowadays, I just don't see it unless it's a restaurant or grocery store. Kids delivering newspapers. Trapper keepers I feel like I don't see those around anymore. I can still smell the plastic. Kids getting sent to school on their bikes. I rode two one two miles each way every day. Now, parents sit in their cars with their kids at bus stops 200 feet from their front door. I got bumped by a car pulling out into an intersection and I was afraid of getting to school late. Smoke coming out of the teacher's lounge. That was always weird to me considering how much they kept pushing on us to not smoke. Stereos with both cassette and CD playing options. Saturday morning cartoons. Taking pickles from the pickle barrel at the deli with a pair of tongs and placing them into a wax paper sleeve. Fireflies. Riding in the back of a pickup truck. Totally wouldn't fly today. Also smoking in restaurants, I remember ashtrays at every place we ever went to eat as a kid. Really wild to think back on that since it's not like I'm 50 60 years old, it was the 80s 90s and everyone knew the dangers of cigarettes. Toy guns. Playing cowboy and Indian. Being gone all day without a way to check in with parents. Letters as a valid for of communication, or telegraphs if it was time sensitive. Wood panel walls and water beds. Car bras. It occurred to me that it was a non-existent thing now. I had to explain to my 14-year-old daughter what they were. I showed her a picture and she was highly disappointed that there were no boobs on the car. Arcades, department stores that were full, people actually in holiday spirit. Rotary telephone. ABC used to have TGIF Friday night shows. Everyone at school watched with their families at home and we all had a common experience and things to talk about. The shows were great and family-centered but still good quality. Now ABC is different and not in a good way. Commercials for long-distance phone call services. 1-800-COLLECT and several others. Someone asking for the time. The AV cart with the television on top the teacher would roll in. Monsters lurking under my bed. I'm Gen X and still jump onto into my bed and will never let my feet or an arm dangle over the edge. Shit's serious under there at night. The happiness during Christmas time, is not the same anymore. Having to wait until summer to see reruns on TV and only of the popular shows. And, of course, using the TV Guide magazine to know what was going to be shown on the at what time and day. 
TV show theme songs. A ton of them used to have lyrics that would tell you briefly about the show, and even if they were instrumental, they were almost full songs. You hardly ever see this anymore. Getting a AAA triptych before a car trip. Gauchos. Pogo sticks.